Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add a sword spark effect in Adobe Photoshop. So to start with, we have our two images. We have a woman holding a sword and we have our sparks. So if we press Command or Control A to select everything in the sparks image, and go to Edit, Copy, switch over to our main image and go to Edit, Paste, as you can see, it's a very high res image. So let's zoom out a little bit and go to edit, free transform and hold shift and alt to scale down towards the center. So the effect that we're trying to create is as the woman is unsheathing the sword, sparks are flying off of the blade. So let's scale this down. We don't want our sparks to be too big. Something like this. And then you can just double click to set that free transform in place. So we now have this listed as a separate layer and we can double click on layer one and give this a name sparks. Now as the sparks are on a black background, we can change the blending mode to screen and it will quite cleverly hide all of the black, leaving only the sparks. So we're going to position them somewhere around here. We can again go to edit, free transform and just rotate from one of the corners. And we can zoom in a bit further and just position this nicely here. So we have our sparks coming off of the blade. What we can also do is select our background layer and then create a new layer from the bottom of the layers palette. If we select a yellowy orange color and select OK, select the brush tool and just pick a nice soft feathered brush, something quite large. And what we're going to do is just simulate a glow on the woman. So the sparks are creating some kind of light source that is reflecting off the woman. So we have our new layer selected. We have our orangey yellow color in the color picker, and we're just going to single left click. Now at the moment, that's a little bit over the top. However, we can change the blending mode from normal down to soft light. If I switch this off and switch this back on, and then what we can do is just bring down the opacity. Let's go for about 50%. And I'm just going to call this layer glow. So if I switch that off again, it just simulates a little bit of a glow. So these sparks are creating some kind of light that is affecting the image and the model nearby. And there we go. We've added a sword spark effect in Adobe Photoshop. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.